All right, this is the second video uh, for the lecture portion concerning the heart. Uh, in the previous recording, we ended with this image right here, which shows the valves that I want to talk about next. So this is an atrioventricular valve. This is an atrioventricular valve. So the one on the right side, you can either call the right atrioventricular valve or the tricuspid valve. It's got three separate flaps that so you can't really tell. The one on the left side is called the left atrioventricular valve. You'll see it called a bicuspid valve or a mitral valve. Bicuspid, two cusps. Mitral because it looks like a mitre, which is a, a cardinal's hat, like a cat, like the Pope's hat. So the old joke does, or the old comment, does the Pope wear a funny hat? And you can say, no, it's a mitre. <clears throat> anyway, the other two valves here are this one, which is the pulmonary semilunar valve, which exits the heart from the right side, and the aortic semilunar valve, which exits the heart from the left side. So let's talk about these valves here. You can always go back and look at that image. Uh, what valves do is prevent backflow. They don't open up necessarily to allow blood through. Uh, they're very easily pushed open in the direction that blood flows. So coming from the atria to the ventricles, all you need is some blood in the atria and not much in the ventricles and the blood's going to go in. Or going from the, the ventricles out into those arteries, as long as the ventricles squeeze, the blood's going to push out. What you don't want is blood going back. You don't want blood, once it's in here, going back in here. So these ventricles, when they contract, blood pressure goes up dramatically in here, and these valves will shut closed. And you'll see that in this uh, coming image. Uh, one way to remember the, bi the bicuspids on the left side is because if you've ever asked a little kid, hey, show me your muscles, or see, let's see how strong you are. They're, they're always going to show you their, bi their biceps, right? That's, they never do like a lat spread. So show your biceps. Biceps are strong. Bicuspid is on the strong side or the thick-walled side, the left side of the heart. Uh, semilunar valves, there they are. We've already covered them, and this describes where they go. Uh, coronary circulation, which I have on the next page. Uh, is or are, I should say, blood vessels that arise from the real base of the aorta and then supply the uh, heart itself. You have a left one and a right one, and they branch into these two arteries, which you need to be able to name uh, and uh, tell me basically where they are. So here's the valves on the left side, and then this is coronary circulation on the right side, kind of combined them. <clears throat> so here's blood flowing out from uh, this right atrium into the, I'm sorry, left atrium into the left ventricle. Blood flows down in there. When this container contracts, when the ventricles contract, you can see this bulge, right? And the valves kind of slap shut. Now this brings me to these chordae tendinae and the papillary muscles. The valves, the chordae tendinae and the papillary muscles are all meant to kind of provide restraint for these valves so that they don't do what's called prolapse. You don't want them to go and open up backwards, you know, like a, like a swinging door uh, into the atrium. So you want to keep them close. So these guys are kind of cables that prevent them from opening up in the wrong direction. A lot of students look at these and say, well, they're pulling the valves open. That is not what they're doing. They're just preventing them from opening the wrong way. Here are the, uh, here's coronary circulation. You've got the left coronary artery, which as I mentioned, branched into the anterior interventricular and the uh, circumflex, which goes through this sulcus that kind of separates the atria and ventricles. The right coronary artery right here branches into the marginal artery right there and uh, around the back, not seen here, the posterior interventricular artery. So it kind of goes, they've got it drawn there, but it goes if this is it right here. So if you picture it going around like this, coming back up, it's kind of what it does. But it's on the posterior side of the heart. And that's it for this shortish video.